<laughs> I'm Pendleton Warren. Hello. <clears throat> oh, hey, I'm Ian Jones Cordy. I'm Rebecca Sugar. Tom Herpick. Jesse Moynihan. Adam Muto. Kent Osborne. Cole Sanchez. Aku Castura. And this is. The Limit. The Limit. This is one of my favorites. Sanchez and Moynihan. Yay. This mm. is, I have to say this at the beginning of each of our episodes. This is our fourth episode? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I think this is my favorite one that we did together. Yeah. I, I feel like uh, we started like working together really well towards yeah. the end. I also like the next one we did, but this one is dear to my heart. Yeah. I feel the same. For some reason. I just feel like it clicked. I mm -hmm. felt really good about this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right. sorry. And there's a guest <clears throat> spot in there by Tom Herpick. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I was sick. Uh, was this the episode where I got a tooth? You got your teeth out and you're all messed up. Yeah. And I did a couple pages of thumbnail drawings for you. Yeah, my, my, health, my dental insurance kicked in and then my mouth uh, gave up, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, was on the floor in pain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> how, how did the uh, Ancient Psychic Tandem War Elephant come about? That was uh, originally, it was going to be, they wanted a Cadillac or something. It was a flying car. A flying oh, car. Right. And uh, I thought that was not cool. And uh, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, they got to want something more D&D-ish. Right. So that was... The solution there makes something really over the top fantasy. Mm -hmm. Yoga balls. Yoga balls huge. I Yoga laughed balls so huge. hard at that. That was the first <laughs> time I'd ever heard like that kind of sort of like, like I don't know that kind of a joke I guess, and I just I died laughing for like a week afterwards. It's great. There's our solution to why not stretch over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> How come it started as a math problem and morphed into words? I don't know. <laughs> Meh. That was just cool, man. Okay. That's just how the labyrinth works. <laughs> I love Steve Agee in this episode. Uh, yeah. That's one of the hot dog nights there. With these commentaries, <clears throat> my only goal is that someone puts these on and presses play all and then listens to them but doesn't really listen to them while they work on whatever project that they're currently working on. Because yeah. that's all I would do with a commentary. Uh, so please don't expect <laughs> very much. Um, it's also a bummer because we're like debunking and uh, some things sort of and I don't know. Oh, I see. Uh, sausage factory. Yeah. What? <laughs> what you don't want to see how the I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Made, made. You don't want to see how the hot dogs are made. Oh, yeah. yeah. The hot Birthday dog nights. Cakes. Hot dog nights are made. I thought you were forgetting that Rebecca and Akko were in the room. <laughs> Yo, man, it's just a sausage factory. Don't worry about it. I mean, uh. No, there's two whole girls. <laughs> In a room of like very diverse people. I think I don't know why, but I did some revisions on this. Yeah, oh, really. And I remember doing uh, those drawings and, and just to totally working around your faces, Jake faces that were so good. Oh. To try and um, I didn't want to touch them. Huh. I remember that? Yeah. And that's it. And I noticed that Tom's drawings in there too. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I actually lot. drew. <clears throat> I asked Tom to board us a section, or a thumb it, and then oh, I drew goodness. over them, and maybe there was some. Uh, <laughs> some feelings about originally, that. Uh, huh? <laughs> I was saying, originally, when uh, Jake was stretching, he would stretch like his facial skin with like stretch and pull oh, back yeah, on his face, that. and it was just so gross and ugly because you could just see like his gums like <laughs> protruding out of his face, and, like the bottoms of his eyelids, and that got changed to more palatable, cuter spaghetti shape towards the end. He still gets a little gross, a little gross at the end. Yeah. A little. That's a quality control thing that I would. Pendleton Ward. I'd always try and uh, <laughs> not make it too nasty because I think nastiness really puts a large. I'm pretty proud of, of it. Off. It's a nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are awesome. <laughs> it's funny. Gross out shots put off people. Yeah. 
I love the the slanted bricks in this labyrinth. That, that was a nice so touch. Yeah. yeah, pretty colors too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, amazing. Oh, here we go. This oh, is yeah, Tom Herpick. Nikki <laughs> <laughs> J on the colors. Mm. And his talented art department. It's something we can't mention, but there are tons of talented artists who work on this show, and we represent just a small percentage of them. Mm-hmm. Why can't we mention it? Uh, we can't. Cause well, because there's too many to names to everybody. list. Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. painted what? And you know, check the creds. Yes. But I remember when this episode uh, came back from overseas, uh, just being amazed at like how how beautiful it came out, like the mm-hmm. colors. And... Mm-hmm. So, Jake, Jake used to barf here. Yeah, he was uh, oh, yeah. originally gonna barf there. Yeah. So Jake gets really beat up in this episode. <laughs> the cool montage. Yeah. Plus oh, it yeah. up, make them make them feel like the the this be like place bu- is big. Mm-hmm. Uh, who did this montage? Oh, was that it? was that was me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, hey, good, good job, <laughs> good nice. job, Ian. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah. <There> <laughs> <go>. <laughs> Jake, it's at the end of his rope. Yeah, getting close to it. Yeah, this whole episode is just an, an idea of like, oh, how far can Jake stretch? Like, <laughs> would he... Wish we, we can't do another episode about it. It's such a simple idea, then. Yeah. I wanted to define his, his limitations. Yeah. The limit. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. I really uh, felt <laughs> that there was something important being said about the way the that this episode is solved um and that a person could just take something all the way a hundred percent and despite what everyone else is saying that you gotta be careful you gotta like think about what you're doing and like do the thing that's reasonable you can do something totally unreasonable and still win and uh that's like a morality, anti-moral message that I think is actually something for kids to aspire to. <laughs> Don't listen to anybody. Don't listen to anybody. <laughs> I really feel strongly about that, and I feel like it's a, a, a told in a good way in this in the episode, I think. Hmm. And that the person who's at stake, his life is at stake, is still pushing for the, the, the original thing and not saying, hey, you got to back down from this thing. Mud snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Used to be a he water a name, snake. Right? <laughs> yeah. Classic. He was muddy. He used to be made out of water and he became mud. At one point I started asking everyone to connect a theme between all of the crazy side character monsters that were in each episode so that which is sort of D&D inspired if you go to uh, one environment that the characters will feel like they belong there and they have some common theme so we made them muddy because <laughs> there was that mud golem earlier <laughs> was that an aesthetic choice yeah, that was our just like a logic choice. I thought that the world would feel more real if there was a connecting theme between mm-hmm. the environment and the characters. <laughs> That's why I was still Crazy drawing face. Finn's face kind of like 3 ding out of the mask a little bit. Yeah. Which I think I stopped doing. What would you wish for if you had one wish, Jesse Moynihan? Uh, like no more fighting I guess <laughs> I would do one of those big world peace wishes like what else yeah. what choice do you have you guys do like you a, just had one yeah you gotta do a world peace wish yeah I wish oh, love 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 
<laughs> hey, oh, hey. great. Uh, orange juice. juice. Drink it. <laughs> orange juice, kid. <laughs> what would you wish for? Good for everybody to have love and love, 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 love. Everybody drinking orange juice, love, love, love. There you go, Whoa. swooping out. Ooh. I really was proud of that design. Um, I think I, I worked with Andy over that design a lot because I wanted people to get it tattooed on them. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and that's like the, the gold shotguns for tusks. I was like, yeah, people, people are going to really connect <laughs> with that and want that on their body. I don't, I don't know if that happened. Or... <laughs> I saw that a t-shirt. That's pretty... Pretty close. I made it to a t-shirt. Yeah. I have the t-shirt. <laughs> you were supposed to die. <laughs> All right. April. Thank you.